What's up guys, this is Rajo here back with another video and in today's video I'll be doing an unboxing of my brand new Logitech X52 Professional HOTAS. And if you're asking what HOTAS stands for, it's hands on throttle and stick. That means you have a separate flight uh, throttle here and then you have your flight stick right there. So in two separate hands and you don't have to lift your hands off to control anything for your spaceship or your fighter jet or whatever you're, you're flying. So this one it says uh, part metal throttle and stick simulation controller. So just give it a spin around the box. <clears throat> and on the back here You'll see there's various buttons, a little LCD screen, a spring. Uh, read off a couple uh, key specs. Uh, let's see, metal construction, metal components in the switch gear deliver on a lifelike professional flying experience while providing increased durability and comfort during extended gameplay. On the LCD part, it says upgraded multifunction LCD shows in-game data in real time so you get a more realistic cockpit feel plus vital information for a successful flight right next to your controls and on the spring it says dual spring to precision dual spring centering mechanism provides a progressive increase in force of the stick as you move it to its extremes for a more intuitive feel and increased durability and some of the technical specs it says Compatible with all major flight simulators slash flying games, programmable via downloadable software, seven axis, three hats, mouse micro stick, and 19 programmable buttons over three modes. Twist rudder axis with lock function, non-contact technology on the X and Y axis, missile launcher with spring-loaded cover, mode selector, with three color LED indicators, two stage trigger, metal pinky shift switch, multifunction backlit LCD display with interactive simulation integration, three toggle switches, six commands, progressive throttle with resistance adjustment, mouse function controls, mounting holes, secure permanent integration to your gaming rig. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff going on with it. Let's open this up and see what it looks like. All right. Up. So you first open the box up. You'll just see it like this. And just pull out. Okay, and that's it for the box. There's nothing else in there except <clears throat> looks like a little pamphlet, uh, X52 Professional Hotas. Uh, looks like instructions on plugging in USB into your computer or what have you. All right, take off this cardboard. Okay, so it's nothing like bubble wrapped or anything. It just comes just like this and right here. This is going to be the flight stick itself, and here's the throttle. Put this back in the box, <clears throat> out of the way. So it looks like in this bag we have some suction cups that will go underneath, I believe, the flight stick itself. You have a USB type A cable. I'll take it out of the plastic so you can get a better look of it. Okay, here we have the throttle, and you have your LCD screen right here, and a couple dials, two dials, and a start slash stop reset. I'll take close-ups of this. Okay, and for the flight stick, pretty big. really nice twist action 
nice solid feel. You can see right here, this is the metal portion and the rest plastic, molded plastic. The hand rest here, pretty comfortable. I mean, wish it was like more rubberized. It feels like it's it's not a smooth plastic, but uh, you have your the pinky selector switch they were talking about here. Yeah, this looks like a two feels like a two stage trigger. Press it a little, you feel here click, and then all the way another click. Um, on the back here, this is. Uh, we have six functions for the knobs. So each one you can, it'll go up. So it's one, two, three, and then down. You get a four, five, six. So each way. So you get six functions out of these three buttons or tabs. On this, then you have right here, you have your like a hat switch. Probably, you can use, probably use that for looking around. And on this, you have a PS2 connector cable, and that will connect the throttle to the stick. And this can only be inserted one direction. And there's an arrow right on the top of this cable here to signify the top. Plug that in like so. And the other end to the flight stick. Okay. So that's how these two will communicate with one another. And this USB A will plug into your computer. So it has a nice feel. This throttle is big. It's nice. Okay, so it seems at the, you know, I've heard about this. This it seems like uh, there's a detent in the movement of this throttle at the 25 mark. And then when you push it forward to about 75, you can feel like a little detent. So it's like it sticks a little and then it goes further, but it's nothing that it hampers you. But you do notice there's, it's a slight hitch when it gets to those two uh, levels in movement on the throttle. So you have a couple buttons, some knobs, twist knobs. Uh, okay, this is like a almost like a hat switch similar to on here where you have this hat switch you have a similar one on the front here and a lot of buttons so i guess you know you program it depending on what uh flight sim or game you're playing but i do like the look of this this is nice it has like an olive greenish color to these uh, little rotary knobs here. And this is green, this all feels nice. There's an LED power button on the front right here of the throttle. And there is a knob that says force plus and minus right here. So I presume that that's gonna change how the force that you have to apply to move this throttle up and down, or forward and back rather. Yeah. Oh, so that's pretty cool. So you can add more resistance so as you it's not so easy to go so you can't easily just throttle up or down you can adjust the, the tension on it oh i like that that's nice okay and let's see with this I believe you can 
adjust this if you have a smaller hand. This is fine for me, but let's see. I believe you can loosen this and this plate can move up. pull this back and you just move it up depending on how big or small if you have a real tiny hand like that it was more easier to move or maybe I'm doing something wrong and I'm not doing it the right way but a little cumbersome so to the next level. Oh, you press this in and then move it. Okay. All right. I figured it out. So whatever's good for your hand. This level is good, and just hold this in place and tighten like so. Make sure it's in the right groove, and I'll tighten it down so it's not for it to move. All right, that's cool. That's nice. And let me bring, do a close-up so you can so I can show you all of these buttons up here. Okay, so I'm just bringing it a little closer, so I get a better view of the stick. And so now this is on the flight stick itself. It shows you got your like a hat switch. You have uh, the flap, spring-loaded flap for like your missile, which is pretty cool. I like that. You have another hat switch. Um, it's got a lot of buttons. It's something that says A, B, and then it has a light, and I guess it corresponds to this wheel right here, which says mode on it. So I guess you can map these controls, uh, these buttons to different settings, and then just change the mode and have another set of functions. So it almost seems like the possibilities are endless with this, but, uh, it's got a nice finish to it. Now, like I showed before, these buttons here, well, you push up, down. You can see the metal construction of it, the base. Very nice. And then also on the bottom here, I was saying the suction, suction cups, you just insert it like that. And twist it, and she got it in there, so it's locked in. And then you do the same, and you have some for this as well, so that it can, uh, depending on what surface you have on your desk, or if you have a cockpit, you can get this secured so it won't move when you're in the heat of battle. So that's cool. So on this table, let's put it down. I don't know how well it'll stick on this table. Not well, but I'm sure if you have like a glass desk or something, or maybe metal, I'll wet this a little and then press down it and it should stick. And i give you a close-up of the throttle. And like I was saying, you have a knob here that you can rotate. You have a push button there, another button here, a slider. Knobs here. And it has a symbol of a mouse, so I guess this would 
simulate the mouse using your thumb and move around I guess the uh, your HUD display or something and this could probably be for a private button press on a mouse similar to that and then, like I said you have other like a hat switch right here and then like I was saying this is the force plus and minus which you can loosen and it'll correspond make this a lot easier to move forward and back and if you want more tension a little stiffer okay so set all that it's gone over the uh, overlay of all of these buttons and what have you so I'm looking forward to getting into Elite Dangerous and Star Wars Squadrons with this uh, new setup, HOTAS setup. Um, my previously was using uh, Thrustmaster T16000M or 1600M, I forget which number it is, but uh, I've had that for several years and that uh, served me well, but I wanted something uh, more substantial and a separate throttle. And I got this from B and H uh, photo for uh, 199. I've seen it on Amazon for like 240 and up. And it seems like during this pandemic, everything has been being price gouged. So you name it, the, the prices are jacked up. It's not no longer MSRP. So I'm glad I was able to get it for that price. Um, I know it's a little expensive, but and there's some that are. Uh, Thrustmaster Warthog, I think it's like four or five hundred dollars. So this is a, a small price to pay to get uh, more realism. And I'm going to be hooking this up somehow onto my racing cockpit. So I'm looking forward to doing that so I can primarily just do my racing or my PC gaming. Once I get a monitor for uh, my racing cockpit um, and flight simulator and, sh you know, flight shooters and all that. So. I'm looking forward to getting down with all of that. So let me know in the comments if you have one of these HOTASs or you're using a controller or whatever you're using. Let me know what games you're playing with it. Also leave in the comments what type of, uh, if you could give me some uh, tips as far as setup with some of these games, like, like I said before, Elite Dangerous or Squadrons, how to map the buttons. I'm gonna go through, you know, meticulously and try to set it up for everybody's setup is different and they like things you know their own particular way but some suggestions wouldn't hurt you know i can incorporate it to what feels right for me or you know not but just let's start a conversation regarding hotas you know and what you guys prefer what you think of this um right now just Quick impression, first impressions. It seems like it's a solid build quality with the metal and plastic. It looks good, feels good. So I have to get down and start playing with it and seeing if it's uh, if it's worth the money, you know. So that'll be you know further down the line reviews and stuff. Or as I'm playing the games, I will speak on how I feel using these uh, this you know Hotas and let's take it from there. So I appreciate everybody for watching the video. I will see everyone in the next video. Peace.